<sighs> Not this again. This feeling I cannot create. This is art block, and to be honest, I've never really felt what it is like to be art block. But because I fill one sketchbook after another and create rather a lot, I naturally get especially this one question. What do you do when you get art blocked? At first I didn't want to answer, but I think that my outlook on art is rather different and I just hope I can help you with my advice. So let me share with you my thoughts on art block and the reason I think I never not create. The thing is, I have a really good relationship with my art. Rarely I say it's really, really bad or I really hate it. It comes with the years of practice and maturity. But sometimes there is one really bad art piece I made. I look at it and I laugh it off. This is what I mean when I say I have a good relationship with my art. I try not to judge my art, my paintings and my drawings, since those are often reflections of myself practice or just something I did for fun. Does everything I make have to be good? I think oftentimes we tend to be too harsh to ourselves. And some art pieces are just made to be loved at or bad. Because you have to be bad at something to be good at something. Nothing in life is always good. Just shrug it off and remember that when you feel bad about your art. When I paint or draw, I try not to always focus on the finished piece. Something that is worth to be posted on social media or shown off to people who can be in awe about it. I sometimes create for the process. Most of the time, when I sketchbook freely, I don't think of the outcome, but rather the mediums I want to use and just put something down. And with that I work. Sometimes something finished comes out of it, but if not, that's the best time I had. I enjoy just playing around with mediums, trying out new color palettes, testing what goes well together and whatnot. We often tend to create for others and this just burns us out. But in reality, if it is not our job, we don't have to show off everything. I think the worst thing that happened to us artists through social media is to think that sketchbooks have to be beautiful. A portfolio, sort of. But it doesn't have to be. When I see sounds go around on TikTok trashing their sketchbooks, I get really sad. A sketchbook has to be bad sometimes. It should be a place with no judgment. It just be a place of practice. Think about practicing music or sports. Do you really think Mozart wrote the best of his music every day? And did he always play in front of an audience? Our sketchbooks should be treated like that, for our eyes only and not to share. Of course you can do that, but if it gives you off pressure, I would advise separating your real art from your practice and just view it as that. Practice. If a sketchbook is too precious for you to waste, you should buy an even cheaper one. The most ugliest book. Maybe even just use loose copy paper. Remember when we were kids? What was the joy of painting like? Did we really create to show it off to our parents? Or was it more because we got this crayon in our favorite color and wanted to put it down on a piece of paper? Listen, I don't treat my sketchbook as something special. I mean, it is special to me because it is that one space where judging is not allowed. I don't judge myself in my sketchbook. I did and this was a period where I hated all of my art and didn't have that great of a relationship with it. But I think a sketchbook should be a judgment-free zone. Because if you stop judging, you will experiment freely. And those freely done artworks are the ones that will give you the biggest progress in your art journey. This whole art block thing comes with overconsumption which leads to comparing yourself to others. I tend to overconsume an art on YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. But if I notice, I start to get a bad feeling about my own art. 
I immediately stop and change it up and look at my old sketchbooks or scroll through my own Instagram to see all the changes I have made and gone through. All the situations that I went through that reflect on my art. Social media shows us the beautiful creations all those beautiful artists make, which is really awesome and I like that a lot. I found my biggest inspiration on social media, but don't forget it is a double-edged sword. For me, art is more than just drawing. I paint, I like to create with Fimo, I also sculpted a bit and tried working with stone. I love lino cut and making stamps. I like to write, even though I'm very bad at it. I like to sing, which is also not my forte, but I do it with a passion. I see art not only as one medium. If I get stuck with one medium, I laugh it off. I forget about it. I just change my scenery, my art. And I think that is also something that makes you feel in this stage of stuck and art block. Maybe you just don't vibe with drawing anymore and should change to painting or trying embroidery or something. I like trying new things, even if I'm bad at it. My life motto is stop starting and start finishing. So I like the blank page because it is a chance for me to fill it up. I don't see it as something daunting, but I will leave the blank page topic for another day and make an own video about that. I think most of the people who tend to get art blocked put too much pressure on their own artwork because they want it to be beautiful, because they want it to do well on social media, to be the next social media star in the rising. But do we really need to put so much pressure on us when it is not our job? Maybe you don't need to monetize every art piece you make. And that takes out a lot of pressure. And if you don't have so much pressure, then you will be more comfortable to make more stuff. The thing is, this whole scenario takes out the fun of art. On social media, you see maybe 10% of my art. I love abstract art and playing around with colors. That's where I gain my whole knowledge of colors. I put a lot of that down and experiment. I think we all should have art that we don't share with anybody. I write a lot, for example. Nearly no one sees my writing, <laughs> it is really bad, but it is part of my way to express myself. Nearly no one sees my abstract art, it is something very personal and dear to me. I would never show that to anyone, and that little secret makes it even more fun. When I don't know what to draw or feel like I'm not making progress, it is time for me to switch it around and play with my paints in my sketchbook or a loose piece of paper. I think we tend to overshare our art when we may not be ready for the judgment, because that is what we do when we put it out there. We give space to take criticism, and it may ruin the piece you put hours into. And this is why I keep most of my art private. I'm very sensible and I can handle criticism when it's not getting personal. And there is some art that is just too personal. So I think maybe it is time for you to take out the pressure you put on yourself Grab a sketchbook or even copy paper, something you don't feel like it's getting wasted when you just play around and just put down a line. Put down that paint, create ugly stuff, because we need the ugly stuff to make the beauty. Thank you for watching, like, comment and subscribe and pussy papa.